Namaste, YouTube. My name is Dalith, and today I'm back on my couch bringing you another round of couch yoga. This is a 60 minute practice for all levels. It's going to be nice and relaxing. And we're going to be focusing tonight on a little bit of release of the feet and ankles, and giving them a little bit of love. For props, I'm going to be using a bolster and a strap. You might also optionally want a blanket or two and maybe a few blocks. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe down below so you don't miss when I upload new videos and ring the bell for notifications so you're the first to know. And if you're ready, hop on your couch and let's get started. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Gaelith and today I am bringing you 60 minutes of couch yoga. I'm very well received last week, so I'm excited to bring you another class. Today, as I was originally planning, it's still going to be focusing on releasing the feet and ankles and giving them a little extra love. So if you're ready, we can go ahead and start. We're gonna start in any comfortable seat. So I'm gonna choose Sukhasana, Reclining back, no need to sit up nice and straight yet. If you'd rather have your feet long and planted on the floor or anything else, great choices. Your hands can come to your lap. Let your inhale it. Guide your chest a little bit up. You're broadening through your collarbone and exhale to let your shoulders really drop away from your ears. And as you're sitting here, just starting to gently tune into the breath. Noticing your inhales and your exhales. The breath comes in and the breath goes out. Your next exhale, if you haven't already, allow the eyes to softly close. As you start to really turn into the sensation of the breath, the feeling of rising and falling. Noticing where you really feel that sensation in your body. throughout this practice, simply labeling it as thinking or feeling, and gently guiding your attention back to the breath and back to the physical body. sitting here noticing if you can send the breath a little bit deeper, expanding through your belly, and letting the exhale be full and complete. As you inhale, maybe finding a moment of breath retention or a kumbhaka at the top, just sending the breath gently. Also, again, finding that moment of going back out at the bottom, holding the breath out just for a moment. As if to fully complete each inhale and exhale before moving on to the next.
moment here to just check into the physical body. Simply noticing any areas of tension or ease, comfort or discomfort. Noticing any areas that you might be able to send a little bit more breath in. for a few more breaths. Yeah. Noticing if you can let go a little bit more reach out. And if you use the breath as an anchor throughout your class, coming back to the rising and falling sensation to ground you through this practice. As you're ready, take a deep inhale through your nose. Then open the mouth, exhale. Letting everything go. When you feel ready, allow your eyes to flutter open. And we'll start to move towards a slightly straighter spine, coming to find your feet planting on the earth. Not scooting all the way to the edge of the couch, just as far as you need to find feet flat on the floor. And you can rest on your legs still. Take a moment here to find energy coming up through the crown of your head, rounding down through your sipple. And sitting here, simply coming to notice the grounding of your feet into the floor. Noticing all four corners ripping into the floor. If your feet were suction cups. Call this out up on the foot lock. And we use strength here throughout standing off and then to find stability. It's also a great way to just find a little bit of extra grounding. If you're ready, go ahead and shift your weight or shifting the contact of the floor from your heels to your toes. Coming through flexing your feet and gently Lifting the heel up the ground. Only as much as is comfortable. Starting to let those feet and ankles move a little bit. The next time you flex your feet, when you release the toes back to the earth, you think of spreading them out wide, taking up a lot of space. That have stable, that would be to stand on. And I'm taking just a few more minutes to take any other conscious movement here, maybe pedaling through your feet, stretching your toes, anything that feels super good. Maybe a gentle circle in one way or the other. eventually coming back to a moment of stillness. Noticing every toe touching the floor, the entirety of the ball of your foot from your pinky toe knuckle all the way to your big toe joint. And then coming all the way back to the heel. Just noticing how that feels here. And as you're ready, we'll start moving into Poses. We'll start by finding a bolster. 
or pillow. Taking that on your lap, feet can stay planted on the floor. You might want to press it down and lift your rib cage up a little bit so you can fold over it. And as you're ready, you're coming to release forward over the bolster. You can stay planted on the earth. Arms can go over the bolster. Just using the bolster for a little extra support. You come out of your hip joints and relieve a little bit of compression there. We're also allowing the weight of gravity to traction your head down towards the earth. Setting head, neck, arms, shoulders, hang heavy. Any wiggles here to release more. And then attempt to fully relax. feels as you breathe and then your belly is expanding into the bolster or maybe you're starting to feel more space opening in your back body as the breath comes there whatever you're noticing Can you release anything more? As you're ready, bring your hands to your knees and gently press yourself coming back up to a nice tall spine. You can move the bolster out of the way for now. And come to sit with your hips on the edge of the seat. Take your legs long and straight here. Option to bend your knees a little bit, finding the soles of your feet on the ground if that's more comfortable, or to keep your legs straight, heels on the earth. You can inhale here, and with your exhale, start to fold forward. Hands maybe come to the floor. You have a couple of blocks, and that's more accessible of the great option too. Again, either Pressing heels down into the floor, or toes flexing up. Or coming to find the sole of your foot fully onto the ground. Finding a little bit more of a bend in your knees. As you're coming into the pose, again, letting head, neck, shoulders, and arms be heavy towards the earth. But the only work here be pressing your heels down to the earth to both activate the stretch and to support the pose use your hands for support you continue to let shoulder blades melt away from ears Take a moment to notice where you're feeling any sensation. Maybe in the backs of the legs, throughout back body, and into your neck, or anywhere else. If it's calling to you on your next inhale, try and find a flat back. Coming up a little bit out of pose, and exhale to fold forward. 
for just a few more breaths. Whenever you're ready, using your hands to press up from the floor. Back to sit nice and tall, planting feet on the earth. You can scoot back a bit. So you feel nice and stable, setting up tall. As you're ready, we'll come to cross right ankle over left knee, sitting up nice and tall over your spine. Let's do a figure four stretch here. Depend on the height of your couch, how accessible this is to you. Knowing that maybe you're back here and that's enough. Maybe you're sitting up nice and straight, or maybe you're folding forward. Really just taking this wherever you find some release in that right hip. You're here, maybe circling the right angle a little bit, using your hands to move or massage it as you feel good you're choosing to fold forward letting your head be heavy sticking your tail out a little bit and slightly arching your back. You might find a deeper stretch here. Also thinking of actively pressing that right ankle down into left knee. Activate the stretch for a little bit of resistance. for another full breath in. And a full breath out. We're gonna nice inhale if you're not already, coming up to sit nice and straight. And then have more options as we continue here. You can keep this ankle crossed over left knee in a figure four stretch. You can fully cross right leg over left. Or if it's in your practice and you feel warm enough, coming into your half lotus variation, finding your right foot into your left hip crease. Wherever you are, finding a pose that you don't need your hands for support. Inhale to take both arms up overhead, reaching up through fingertips. And exhale, finding left hand to right knee. We'll take a little bit of a twist here. And shift over right shoulder. And if you're in half lotus and you'd like to take a bind, finding that right hand to your right foot. It's a great place to go, otherwise don't worry about it. Wherever you are, using your inhale to find even more length up through the crown of your head. Your exhale to twist a little bit deeper, finding a slightly more full expression of the pose. You 
your breath be nice and big and full. Stay here for a full inhale and a full exhale. Inhale to release the bind and come back towards center. And we can go ahead and release the right leg down to the earth. We'll go right away to take the same thing on the other side. Now crossing left ankle over right knee. Something to sit up nice and tall, if that's accessible to you. Otherwise, maybe reclining. Still trying to keep that straight back wherever you are. Maybe coming a little bit forward over that leg. Maybe letting the head and back curl and hang heavy, whatever feels good. taking a full inhale. Exhale, can you release any more? When you're ready, coming back up to sit up nice and tall. We have the same options on this side that we did on the other side, either keeping left leg crossed as we are. Maybe you're crossing left leg all the way over the right, or maybe you're coming into that half lotus variation with the sole of your left foot coming into your right hip crease. If that's not in your practice, again, don't worry about it. Just an option if it feels good in your body. Wherever you are, coming to find a nice tall spine. Inhale to find both arms up overhead, extending up through fingertips. As if you're finding a big morning stretch here. On your exhale, find your right hand to left knee, taking a twist, spiraling all the way around. If you're taking the half lotus variation, maybe you find the bind. Again, only if it's part of your practice and feels super good. Use each inhale, find extra length in your spine, growing up tall through the crown of your head. As you exhale, deepen the twist a little bit more. shoulder, finding a full spiral from your tailbone all the way to the crown of your head. Stay here for a full inhale, then a full exhale. <sighs> inhale to come back to your center, and eventually releasing left foot to the floor. If you have a strap handy, go ahead and grab that to have it nearby as we move into the next couple of postures. Also gonna make sure I have enough space here. 
so as you're ready, we'll come to turn towards the left side of your couch. Finding the left foot planted on the earth. You can reach for the back of your couch with your left hand for stability. And releasing your right leg heavy to the floor. Now again, depending on the height of your couch, you might find like my leg is right now, slightly dangling. Or maybe you're taking this into more of a traditional hip flexor stretch, taking the left, right knee further back behind you, if that's where your couch is. Wherever you are, allowing the leg to be heavy, you find some length up through the crown of your head. Maybe thinking of keeping some stability and keeping your hips level here. And you just allow that right leg to fully relax. stay here. It's a great place to stay. So if you're looking for a little bit more, maybe tucking your back toes and extending through your back leg. Maybe not coming all the way to a straight leg, but finding a little extra stretch here. Still being supported by the couch. So as we're in a runner's lunge variation. Again, this is a great place to stay, but if you want even more, maybe taking the right arm up overhead, finding a little bit of a side body stretch over towards the couch. Breath is flowing here. You're coming up onto your toes, sending active energy out through that leg. Support all of the joints. a deep breath in and a full breath out. And as you're ready, inhale to come back up through center. Release that back knee and bring your right leg now to plant on the floor. And go ahead and extend that left leg long in front of you. Flexing your toes up to the ceiling. If you have a strap and would like to use that, maybe finding it around the ball of your left foot. If you find one part of the strap in either hand, I am nice and tall here. Again, maybe thinking if you can find that slight arch in your back to really deepen the stretch. you're here, can you think of pressing the ball of your foot into the stretch and pressing the heel of your foot down to the couch to really activate the stretch, finding a little bit of resistance. Stay for an inhale. And a full exhale. This is a great place to stay. But if you want more, maybe you're coming to fold forward. Maybe one or both hands come to your foot as you release the strap. Also allowing your head to release. Again, maybe you're still sitting up straight. Maybe there's just a slight curve in your back as you let your head hang heavy. Those are all great options. Keeping the integrity of the back of the leg by engaging the hamstring, pressing into your hands or the strap, pressing heel down into the couch.
breath is flowing. Take a full breath in. Exhale, can you release even further? And as you're ready, release your hands or the strap from your foot. And if you're folded forward over your leg, use your hands to gently come back up to sit. Moving on, go ahead and scoot your hips a little bit forward. Coming into a reclined pose here. Keeping the right leg off the couch and putting the rest on your belly or anywhere else that feels good as your left foot plants on the couch, knee pointing up to the sky. Depending on the height of your couch and any other factors, this might be a great place to stay with your knee gently bent here. Otherwise, maybe you bend that right knee even more. Coming to find a gentle quad stretch here. Maybe using your right hand to come over the top of your foot. Pinching that foot back. Coming to find a place that feels good in your body. And when you're there, actively pressing that foot into the air to support through the knee. Going back to that breath. great options here would be to find a strap around your right foot and use that for a little extra stretch or if it's nice and accessible to you using your right hand to gently control the right foot Be careful to keep your knee aligned well, perhaps by squeezing that knee in towards the couch, making sure that the bend of the knee doesn't contain any rotation. Be here for a few more breaths. When you're ready, release that foot so that right foot plants back on the floor. And slowly come back up to sit. We'll go ahead and take this to the other side now. Well, let's stop facing center for just a moment. You can take your feet nice and wide, coming into a variation of goddess pose, and coming to fold forward here, depending on the height of your couch and how open your hips are. You might come all the way down to your elbow, you might just be hanging here. Of course, there's the option to grab blocks or a bolster and the floor a little bit closer. You just relax here. Just 
your head and neck, shoulders hang heavy. And with both of your feet grounded into the floor, maybe coming back to that idea of having all four corners of your feet touching. Every toe. Entire ball of your foot back edge of your foot and your heel. Be here for just a few more breaths. Yeah, any wiggles you feel might feel nice. Release even more. Here for a few more breaths. You're full and new. And as you're ready, just pressing into the floor with your hands to come up to sit nice and slow. And as you're ready, we'll come to take that to the other side. This time finding right foot planting on the ground and releasing left knee to the earth. You can find your right hand to the back of your couch. As you let that knee dangle, maybe scooching it back to find a deeper hip flexor stretch. Thinking of stabilizing your hips as if they're maintaining one straight line. comfortable, maybe coming, you can always release that right foot from the floor. Noticing that with the foot planted on the floor, you are coming into a little bit of a twist here. Noticing how that muscle, your hip flexor, runs all the way up from your thigh, all the way up into your abdominal region. Notice how that full extension of that muscle feels. As you're ready, you can stay here or tuck those back toes and come to extend your back leg into a variation of runner's lunge. Again, still using the couch for full support. No need to put weight into your feet using this to open up that back hip. Again, this is a great place to stay, or maybe you take an inhale to send that left arm up overhead, finding a little bit of a side body stretch here as well. Breath is flowing. You're taking the side body stretch, opening through your left side of your rib cage. Take a full inhale here and a full exhale. You inhale if you aren't all ready to come back to sit up nice and tall. And we'll come to plant left foot now, also on the ground. And extend right leg out in front of you. Again, you can come to find your strap around the ball of your foot, using it to anchor yourself and coming to sit up nice and tall through your spine. To find an active stretch here, press the ball of your foot into the strap and your heel down into the couch. Notice how maybe you feel your hips aligning there as you continue to rock tall to the crown of your head. Beautiful. 
a great place to stay. Using the breath. Maintaining the integrity of your hamstring, pressing the heel into the floor, ball of foot into strap. If it's accessible to you and is calling your name, maybe you find one or both hands to your foot and fold all the way over. And again, keeping that integrity of activation, maybe releasing the strap. Only releasing the strap if you can find one or both hands to your foot. Otherwise, staying with the strap. Being this wherever it feels good to you. Think of maybe pulling your right hip back into its socket and pressing your left hip forward. Breathing here. Nice long inhale with the next exhales. you're ready if you're not already sitting up straight releasing your hands and using your arms to press yourself back up to sit move your strap out of the way scooching the hips forward right foot plants on the couch knee pointing up as you recline backwards bending now the left knee as much as is comfortable to you either staying on the ball of that foot or coming you untuck the toes. Finding an active stretch here by pressing your left foot down into the earth. You think of squeezing the left knee in towards the midline and towards the couch to help align your left knee. And breathe. Again, optionally using a strap or your left hand to assist the stretch. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. And as you're ready, coming to plant the left foot back onto the ground, and slowly come back up to sit. We'll move into the last couple poses of this practice. I'm going to be replying for these. I'd recommend grabbing maybe a pillow under your head and then you might also like a bolster. Finding the bolster horizontal or another pillow, whatever you have around. You can then come to recline back and find your hips on the bolster. Take a little bit of playing to get the bolster in the right place. Finding a spot that feels comfortable to you. And can cross on your belly or find any other place that's comfortable. 
as we take just a breath here in a supported bridge pose. This is a great place to stay if you'd like. Otherwise, go ahead and extend both feet up to the sky for a supported shoulder stand. Bring your gaze straight up to the ceiling. No need to put effort into keeping your legs straight. Just find a point where they can float effortlessly in the air. take them away. Staying with this inversion, keeping your feet higher than your heart. We'll be here for a few more breaths. the couch coming back into that supported bridge pose with your feet planted and as you're ready take the bolster out from under your hips and we'll come into our final resting pose taking maybe variations of shavasana just laying down here mm. adjusting this pose in any way that's comfortable to you. Using any props, maybe finding a bolster under your knees. Maybe finding a blanket over your body for weight or warmth. Whatever you think would feel good. And as you're lying here, taking one more time to come back to the breath. A few more nice long inhales and full exhales. And eventually, with an exhale, let your eyes to softly close and your breath to return natural rhythm, releasing any control.
physical sensation of the breath rising and falling. And if you'd like to turn an ear to the sound of my voice, at least drawing awareness around the body, the crown of the head. space between your eyebrows, your chin, your throat. shoulders, back of the neck, back of the head, crown of the head. Body relaxed. The whole body relaxed. The whole body relaxed. And eventually releasing all focused attention entirely. wants to wander, let it wander, taking just a moment to simply be here.
is difficult to know what to do with so much happiness. It's sad and it's there is something to rub against. A wound to pen with lotion and cloth. When the world falls in around you, you have the pieces to pick up. Something to hold in your hands like ticket stubs or change. But happiness floats. It doesn't need you to hold it down. It doesn't need anything. Happiness lands on the roof of the next house singing. You are happy either way. Even the fact that you once lived in a peaceful tree house and now live over a prairie of noise and dust cannot make you unhappy. Everything has a life of its own. It too could wake up filled with possibilities of coffee cake and ripe peaches and love even the floor which needs to be swept with soiled linens and scratched records. Since there is no place large enough to contain so much happiness, you shrug, you raise your hand, and it flows out of you into everything you touch. You are not responsible. You take no credit, as the night sky takes no credit for the moon, but continues to hold it and share it. And in that way, you know. As you're ready, start to deepen your breath. Begin to invite subtle movement back into the body, wiggling fingers and toes, maybe circling ankles and wrists. You can shake your head back and forth. Or maybe if it's calling to you, take a big morning step. As you're ready, slowly come to roll onto your right side. You can use your right arm as a pillow. Take a moment on your side for gratitude. Yourself for showing up on your couch this evening. Your body for carrying you through this practice. And for this practice and everything that it has to offer. And as you're ready, pressing into your left hand, coming up to a comfortable seat. Hands can come to your knees, or if you'd like to join me, bringing hands together at heart center. I honor the place in you in which the entire universe dwells. I honor the place in you which is of love, of truth, of light, and of peace. When I am in that place in me and you are in that place in you, we are one. If you'd like to join me, drawing thumb knuckles up to third eye center. We'll seal this practice with the blessing of Namaste. Namaste. Thank you for your practice. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. I hope you had a great time. If you did, go ahead and leave a thumbs up to let me know. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them down below. I'd love to hear from you. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe so you know when I post new videos and ring the bell for notifications. I hope to see you on your couch or mat sometime soon. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care. Namaste.